Hello class and welcome to our seventh lecture series on managerial accounting and I'm your instructor Jamal Haider. We were discussing our chapter six which is cost volume profit relationship and we talk about a lot of variation in which we also talk about that what happened if we increase our variable cost what happened to the profit what if we increase our sales price and what if we increase our fixed cost and then we saw that the impact of fixed cost is huge okay so we will continue the same example the rbc company which is racing bike company racing bicycle company so it has its contribution margin income statement as shown here so total sales are 500 bikes are sold the price of each bike is 500 their variable expense is 150,000 or 300. Where 300 came from? 150,000 divided by 500 units. And contribution margin is 200 or 100,000. Fixed cost 80,000. So currently it is operating at 20,000 profit. Okay, let's move further. Change in regular sales price. I think we did that one. Okay, let's do that again. So if RBC has an opportunity to sell 150 bikes to a wholesaler without dis dis disturbing sales to other customers or fixed expenses, what price would it quote to the wholesaler if it wants to increase the monthly profit by 3000? We talked about that, how much profit per unit he wants to charge. Answer, 20, right? Sorry, 200. It's 150, then it's 20, right? So the question itself says, fixed expense is not gonna be disturbed, right? So it means we are not gonna charge any fixed cost here. So we know that 300 is our variable cost. So 150 bikes do have, do increase our variable cost. So <laughs> 320, that's it, right? So it means <coughs> you can also solve this to an <coughs> through another way. You can also prove that. So if you sell the bikes, 320, 150 bikes, you will receive the revenue of 48,000. The variable cost is going to be 300 multiplied by 150, 45,000. So your profit will be 3,000. Right? Okay, here's a class exercise. So this is a graded activity. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. All you have to do, you need to solve all these four questions. I'm going to give you 20 minutes to do that. Please take a picture. Meanwhile, I'm making or setting up breakout room. That recreate. Here we go. If everybody has the picture, then I'm, I'm gonna open the breakout room. Guys, please accept the breakout room. I didn't get any message for the breakout room. Really? No. It says you are in room one. William, join Leo. Did you get it? Nothing. 
nothing okay let me move you to another group then maybe it will reappear you get it no maybe i leave and come back again okay then do that hmm. Okay, Leo, I found out and I'm gonna transfer you to Picard room three. You get it now? Uh, yes, no, no, I got it. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video here because after 20 minutes, I'm going to be uh, answering those queries. So please do watch our video. Okay, guys, <clears throat> group one, did you finish this individual class participation activity? Um, not yet. How much time? Not yet. Um, about 90%, maybe like five minutes. More. Okay, take five more minutes and do that, please. Okay, thank you. Two, did you finish your class participation activity? Minsu, I received yours. Crystal, Alima, Sunhu. I'm fixing my answer. Uh, yeah, I'm also finishing up writing. Okay, good, good. Take five more minutes to do that. Okay, group three. Have you done your class participation? Leo, I received yours. To me. Yes, I finished. Uh, almost done. Okay. I'm almost done too. Okay. Take five more minutes and then please do that. Send it to the group. Okay, guys, welcome back after a break, breakout room activity. So I have received your files. So I also pasted a solution here. So please match your answers. So first, a net operating income is 68,000. Second, net operating income is 42.5, uh, 42,500. Three, 52,500 and four fifty nine thousand six hundred. So you can also compare your answer from this solution uh, solution as well. Okay, before starting the next LOS, let's take the attendance and then we will be having a short break. So please, attendant first, Minsu. Yes, sir. Stella, yeah, I'm here. Alima, here. Okay, Alima, you were not present in our last lecture, right? Yes, um, yes. Alima or Leo? Alima, I, hmm. I was not present. I will send you the audio if it's okay. Okay, okay. And then we have William. Yeah. Landry, are you here? I'm still disconnected. Landry. Okay, I think he disconnected. Sunho. Yes, sir. 
Okay, and then Jackie. I'm here, sir. Tume. Tume. Leo. Yes, I'm here. You were also not present in our last lecture. Exactly. So what happened? You were a regular student, one of a rare student you have. Yeah, I had with my thesis, I had an interview going on during that time. Okay, okay, okay. Camila? Here, I'm here. You were also not present at that time. Last yeah, time. I was there. Okay, and then Crystal? I'm here. Okay. Okay, let's take a 10 minutes break and then we start again. Let me pause the recording here. Okay, now our fifth learning objective is determine the level of sales needed to attain a target profit. Let's talk about that. So we can achieve this through either equation method or either through formula method. Essentially, these two are equal. They just, you know, 